नमस्ते नाउ वी लर्न अ फ्यू आसनास दैट विल हेल्प यू सिट कंफर्टेबली फॉर अ लॉन्गर टाइम मोस्ट ऑफन द एरियाज वेर वी फील डिस्कम्फर्ट वाइल सीटेड आर द हिप्स बैक एंड शोल्डर्स सो वील डू अ फ्यू स्ट्रेचेस टू हेल्प रिलीव स्ट्रेस एंड टेंशन इन दीज एरियाज Let's start in Sukhasana which is a cross legged position. First, let's warm up the hips. This is very important for a seated posture. Let's start with the outer hips. Stretch your legs out in front of you and bend your right knee. Place the ankle on your left thigh. making the shape of the number 4 with your legs now bend your left knee and place the sole of the left foot on the mat and notice the right outer thigh and hip if you're not getting a stretch then bring the left foot closer to you try to keep your right shin parallel to your chest this will ensure that your right outer hip begins to stretch It doesn't matter how far the left foot is as long as you get the right outer hip to stretch. A few easy breaths here. Adjust the pose to intensify the stretch if needed. Keep the spine long and check that you're not hunching. good and now let's switch to the other side straighten both the legs out relax them now bend your left knee and place your left ankle on the right thigh bend your right knee place the foot on the mat keep the spine straight relax your shoulders and adjust the right foot till you find a position where your left outer hip begins to stretch it should feel quite comfortable and the breath should flow easily just another couple of breaths here tuning in to the sensations coming from the left outer thigh and hip good and now stretch both your legs out relax them we'll work on the inner thighs next bend both your knees and bring the soles of the feet together if your knees are up high you can move your feet a little further away from you Otherwise keep your heels close to your hips and begin to move your knees up and down. Continue to breathe as you move the legs. Feel the sensations in the inner thighs. They stretch when you lower the knees and contract when you lift the knees. you can go a little bit faster as well and now let's do this movement very slowly lift the knees up towards your shoulders squeezing them in and relax them down towards the floor alternate between the two positions feeling the contraction in the inner thigh the squeezing sensation when you lift up and feeling the stretching sensation when you lower the knees down just another breath like this good and now relax them down now we are going to do another stretch to release the tension in the inner thigh you're going to press your right palm into the right thigh and keep your left hand just behind you on the floor 
Now create resistance between your right palm and the thigh. The thigh tries to lift up, but your palm presses it down. Keep breathing and continue to keep that resistance. The inner thigh muscles will be working a fair bit here. Just another couple of seconds. Good. Now slowly reduce the tension and relax the leg. Notice the difference between the right and left thigh, right and left hip. Now the other side, left palm on the left inner thigh and the right hand just behind you on the floor. Resist, pressing down with the palm, trying to lift up with the leg. Equal and opposite forces. Feel that tension building up in your inner thigh. Feel that effort, that contraction. You can even increase the resistance if possible. Good, and slowly let go, release, relax. Notice how your hips feel by moving your knees up and down a few times. Now let's take this into a longer hold. Keep your hands just behind you. Inhale and lengthen your spine. Exhale, bend from your hips, hinging forward. Many times we hinge from the waist and this causes the back to round. We're trying to keep the spine long and bend from the hips. Even if you can't bend down much, it's okay. You should feel a good stretch in your inner thighs. And if you want to, feel free to walk your hands forward. Just maintain the length in your spine. Find an intensity which works well for you. The breath should be smooth and slow. Keep the hips grounded. You can adjust them a little if you need to. This pose is called Baddha Konasana, Cobbler's Pose. Just another breath. Good. Slowly walk your hands in and rise up to center. Stretch your legs out and just notice how your legs feel. Now we have to stretch the front of the hips. Let's do this by coming into a tabletop position and step the right foot forward between the palms. Walk the front foot forward a little bit further and check that your back knee is comfortable. If it isn't, then fold the mat to create a cushion or place a pillow under the knee. Now shift your hips forward feeling the sensations in the front of your left thigh and hip. If you tend to sit a lot in a chair, then the muscles in the front of your hips get shortened. These are your hip flexor muscles. And by doing a simple stretch like this one, you can release the tension in that muscle. It's also going to help you sit more comfortably in meditation. If you're really comfortable here, bring your hands up to the thigh and intensify the pose. You can even squeeze that left buttock to help you get deeper into the left hip flexor stretch. Good. And slowly lower the hands down if they are up. Step your right knee back and your left foot forward. Do not allow the knee to go beyond the foot. Walk the right foot back instead and adjust the knee with the pillow if required. Now shift your hips forward. Notice how that feels. Good. 
Maybe come up to your thigh with both your palms. Easy, smooth breaths. If it's too much, put the hands back down. Observe the sensations that are coming from the body. Good. And just another breath here. Lower the hands down. Step that knee back. Now come back to your seated position. We're going to do a few movements for the spine. Bring your right hand next to your right hip. Inhale, lift your left arm up. Exhale over to the right. Feel the stretch in the left side of your body. You can slide the right hand a little further away from you. And bring the elbow towards the ground. Do not strain. Smooth and easy breaths. Good. On your next inhale, rise back up. Lower the left hand down to the floor next to you. Right arm up. Inhale here. Lengthen. Exhale. Move into your side stretch. Leaning over to the left side. Maybe sliding the left hand out. Lowering the elbow towards the floor. And keeping the chest parallel to the wall in front of you. Knowing that your discs are getting nourished here. Easy, comfortable breaths. Good. Slowly come back to center. Feel free to pause the audio and do a few more if you like. Now let's move into the twists. Inhale both your arms up towards the ceiling. Exhale, twist your body towards the right, placing your left palm on the right thigh and the right hand behind you. Keep the spine long and twist belly, chest and shoulders to the right. Easy, smooth breaths. Just another one here. Unwinding. Lift the arms up towards the ceiling. And moving into the other side. Twist to your left. Right hand on the left thigh. Left hand behind you. Turning the belly, chest and shoulders to the left. Concentrating on the upper back. Do not strain your lower back. Good. And then slowly inhale, raise both your arms up. Come back to center and relax. Notice how you feel. Now the last movement for the spine. Flexion and extension. Back bending and rounding the back. Let's start on the hands and knees in a tabletop position. Pad the knees if you need to. Inhale, drop your belly. Point your tailbone up. Lift the head, look up. Exhale, press your palms into the floor. Round your back. Inhale, drop the belly, make a U shape with your spine. Exhale, press into your palms, round your back, lift the upper back towards the ceiling. Now tune into the rhythm of your own breath. Inhale, create the back bend. Exhale, stretch your back. Inhale, feel the back muscles shortening. And exhale, stretch your back, draw the belly in. Inhale, expand the chest. Last three. Inhale, exhale.
Feel the shoulder blades drawing in towards each other as you breathe in. And feel the shoulder blades moving away from the center as you breathe out. Last one. And relax. Slowly come back to your seated posture. The last stretch is for the neck. Drop your right ear towards your right shoulder. You can close your eyes if you like. Breathe in and come back to center. Breathe out left ear towards the left shoulder, keeping both your shoulders relaxed. Breathe in, come back to center. Continue at your own breath pace. Feeling the stretch on the side of the neck. Without straining, keep breathing. And once you're done with both sides, come back to center. Notice how your neck feels. Now your body is relaxed and ready to sit comfortably in meditation. You can practice this before your meditation or pranayama practice or even just before starting work, especially if you have a sedentary job 